Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're going to be doing another haul video. A few things that have just kind of been left over from Peaches to the Beaches um, and then an estate sale we went to this um, weekend and if I get through that then I have some Goodwill stuff. Where was this Goodwill? Johnson City? Johnson City, the Habitat Store. Yeah, the Habitat Store. Yeah, the Habitat Store. No longer can record in the Johnson City Habitat store, so... Yes, we can. No, we're not. No, we aren't. <laughs> Some right. of us might, but we aren't. No. But first, y'all, I have saved searches for some of my grails. And I always say, you know, I'd like to find them at a yard sale, but sometimes it just pops up in my, my feed and I buy something. Um, so I bought something for my wall. I'm going to have to figure it out. But let me show you what I bought. Now, I know it has damage. And that's kind of why um, I think the price didn't go up as high as it could have. But look at what I got. Look. Oh. This is a Fisher Price Bunny Lovey. Look, it's just got a little bit of a hole right here in the ear. I don't even know if I'm gonna try to repair it. I could. I don't think it would be that bad. It just needs a little seam right there. It's got a little discoloration, but y'all, I got it for 30 bucks. 30. If these are in really good condition, they go for way over a hundred dollars. So you're telling me you bought a stained, torn up, <laughs> decrepit blanket for 30 bucks? Yes, yes. And somehow it's gonna go up there with my. My snuzzle and my jammy pies. But so. everything I buy gets the critique. <laughs> Do you really need that? Are you sure you need that, Robert? You want to spend the money on that? Mm-hmm. But I love it, so yay. <clears throat> all, right. all right. Wait, before you do that, that mm -hmm. was all a lie. If I want something, I buy it. He does. He does. It's just he likes to harass me. All right, so this was at a thrift store that had like an outdoor yard sale in front of their thrift store and everything was a dollar. So I grabbed this. At Peaches to Beaches. Peaches to the Beaches. It says it is Room Essentials. I think that, yeah, right here, Target. It's a bank and I paid a dollar. I'm hoping 10 to $15 for it. And then grabbed this. Holy Family figure. I'm trying to see. It says the Lamb's Well. That's all it says on the bottom. Again, I'm hoping 12 to 15. Robert grabbed this. It's a little porcelain horse music box. You know, again, I'm hoping like 10, 12 dollars for it. It doesn't have any brands or anything on it. It's very cute. I'm paying a dollar and supporting a thrift store. And then, of course, I had to grab this. Look, it's Hawaii, even though I have a Hawaii cup there. So now I'll have to decide which one do I want to list and which one do I want to keep. But for you all that don't know, I lived in Hawaii for 13 years. So it's just fond memories. Did you grab this for me? I did. All right. You, because you growled at me. I don't know about all that electronic stuff, Robert. I don't like electronic stuff, y'all. I just, I don't. But, picked up this Omron Fat Loss Monitor, $5.99, and what did comp show? $150. $150? Used? Mm hmm Holy heck. Of course, that was the day that I was there, so it might be $5 today. Yeah. <laughs> right, and of course... Robert's all about the small appliances. This was only $2.99. It is a wherever kebabit. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a Lorena Bobbit. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> and what did you find out about this? That little tray on the side is like $7. Yep. And this is imparting. The sticks will probably be like $12. Each. Mm -hmm. No, no, for the set. For the set. The glass oh, is like missing. $15 or something. Yeah. This is glass, y'all. Ooh, that's going to be a pain. Or you can sell the whole thing for like 15 
Oh, no. We will be parting it out. And Y'all, even if this part doesn't work, it's okay. We just discard that and sell all the parts. That is usually the cheapest part of what, what whatever it is we're selling. It's, it's the motorized the, part. The motorized part. Yep. All right, and then I grabbed a couple of plush there. I like this brand. This is Cuddling Kind. There's another one that looks very similar, Blah Blah. Blah, this one does much better. Cuddling Kind, I paid $2.99 for it. I'm hoping at least like $20 plus for it. And then this. This is actually by Daphne. It is a golf club cover. I will still use Puppet also. Um, it's got the Sherpa inside. It just says Handmade Toys by Daphne. I want to say in the past I've sold like about 20 bucks or so. And I paid $2.99 for it. And then I grabbed this. It is Gund. It's Heads and Tails. Paid $2.99 for it. Y'all know me. It's kind of It's got this paw lifted up. I'm trying to see if there's anything in it. It's just kind of weird. Oh. Why? Why, why does it not have the end of its paw? Did I do another one of those weird things? Why does it been, not have an end of its paw? Or it's been damaged? No, like it's been amputated. That's what something. I mean. It's, yeah. Like, Remember, guys, I bought that bear. I never did sell it. It was just, I didn't realize what I bought. And obviously not this time either. You didn't sell it? No, but why does he not have the end of his paw like these three? I don't know. This is kind of creepy. Why didn't you sell the bear that had his... No, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I'll list it. I don't think I have it anymore. I think I donated it. That would probably sell for extra money. I don't know. But that's kind of creepy, too. But you notice his paw is like... This is like he sits down. I know, but where's he's... the red part? Why and would it... there not be a red part to and it? And it's not so much that there's not a red part. It's, that it's like the whole just... foot... Is missing. is missing. Oh, sometimes I gotta pay better attention. I bought it because it was gunned and it was a dog. I don't know. I'll sell it. If you don't want to list it, I'll list it and sell it. I remember once back in Missouri, I was driving down the road and going a back road. I don't know why because it was going, I'd never been this way before, but doing a back road and some dogs came out of a house because it was like a you know 20 mile an hour speed limit taking off or whatever. I was going slow. And these dogs started chasing the car because that's what dogs do sometimes. And one of them was a little small dog. It only had three legs. But it was running and chasing and yapping at the car. And I couldn't help but think that, does he only have three legs because he caught a car once? Or... Yeah. All right. And then I grabbed this. I paid $4.99. Still, again, I didn't... We had already just been told at the other thrift store to turn off the cameras, y'all. I was very insecure. So I, I didn't stay there very long. I wanted to go through their clothes. I think they have a really good clothes collection there. But this is Jack Be Quick. Look, it's got these little dogs and bones. And on the back it has more. I want to say I saw comps that were 30 to 50 maybe on this particular one. Look just how cute that is. So I grabbed it. All right, and then we went to an estate sale, and I got two. I oh wait, one more thing that Robert bought. Yeah, Robert grabbed these. It's three ninety nine. They are Tupperware, and there are let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these lunch trays paid like I said $3.99 and what did you comp? Do you remember? I, I want to say it's gonna be like 40 for all of them. Right. Something like that. Something like that. So I, I probably I might sell these in like sets of two. I think that'll keep it light enough and the, a good size to put in like the priority boxes. We might have to what's it called? Accordion them together. But, and then I have five lots. Some more stuff. Oh, I got hair. 
All right, small appliances again. This, we'll have to figure out what it went to. Because there could be Black & Decker, it could be Hamilton Beach, it could be all kinds of different brands. I've had good luck using Google Lens with this particular piece. It just seems to tell me what it went to. And then when I combine it with looking at all the other stuff here, I usually can figure out that. And then a sometimes, lot of... Sometimes the, the individual pieces will have a number on it that mm -hmm. you can, you can Compare. Google Compare. But it looks like it's got a meat grinder in there and food processor parts. Um... A lot of times I'm getting like about $10 for these parts. You know, there's the plunger is in there. There's two of them in there. Yeah. Well, it's like they go together. Oh, that's right. They go together. Yeah, to they go that. together. In fact, I think I have some more parts. It may all go together, the same one. But that's that's the hard part of just buying the accessories. I got to figure out who it went to, what it went to, what brand. I tend to make probably... On just that right there, at least 50 bucks, at least. This was another Goodwill thing. It says, Famous Weber Barbecue Accessories. Now, it's been taped shut, but you took it up, right? And they opened it for you? Was this the one you said? No? No, I just kind of... All right. Guesstimated. We're hoping here. Let's just do a reveal. See if it's going to be... Because... We got to show what's inside of it anyway. What's the number on it? Oh, it is AP8801. But y'all, what's it supposed to have? Oh, the metal rack and the... I think I looked in it somehow. Yes, probably from the bottom. And I just opened up the top. But that's what it is. It's the roasting pan and a bunch of, of the... The aluminum roasting pans 10 drip pans it says I don't think it's 10 2 4 6 8 9 somebody bought this used one and then repacked it up and never used it again so what are you finding as far as comps brand new best offer off of 50 oh best offer off for 50 it's like a partial one for $11 so, well, this one's got nine trays. I was figuring somewhere between the two, right? Yep. Yep. So we paid four ninety nine. I'll probably list it for thirty ish and see what happens. I've got a box here of stuff we found at the Habitat store. Paid three dollars for this one. It is uh, Brody from Yo Gabba Gabba. It is one of those pillow things, but y'all, I'm just realizing somebody cut. Cut the little tag that folds over. So I am still will list it, but they'll just know that it can only be used as a pillow. It's not going to be able to get folded up unless they want to fix something themselves. But definitely, I'm thinking probably still 15 bucks or so for it. Go Gabba Gabba does very well for me. And then I saw this. Look, $5. It says a set, but there wasn't a set. This is from the Wiggles. I've done very well. It's going to need a bath. Not an issue. But it has its original tag back here. I think I was seeing like 30 plus for it. So, very nice. I tend to pick up almost anything Wiggles as long as it's in good condition. And Robert grabbed this. Look how neat, and you can tell, very old vintage tag, but it, it feels like Tyvek bags, you know, from the post office. It's exactly what it feels like. Big old football themed jacket, says it's a medium, paid $3 for it, and what did the comps show you? I didn't find that exact one, but 50 to 100 for things from that brand in that kind of papery tie bag. <laughs> It feels like paper. It does. It does. So that was a nice find. I've not found one of these that is this small. It is, let's see, I don't even know if it's, a lot of times they're, I say Iwaya, I-W-A-Y-A, Iwaya, but I paid a dollar for him. Hopefully he works. 
But let's see, what was the brand on this one? No, Tombow. Oh, that's another good brand too, Tombow. So if it works, I'm hoping at least $15 for it. You saying all that confusing pronunciation reminded me of the the tribe from F Troop, the Hakawi. Mm -hmm. You probably never watched that show, did I you? I remember it, but not... Corporal Agar. And yeah, I remember F Troop, yes. I always enjoyed watching that. Now, I don't know if it's true, because I don't think I ever saw the episode. I think it was one of my old bosses told me about it. They called them the Hakawi Indians, because that's what they... When they met them, the, I guess the chief had said... We're the Hakawi, but he wasn't saying we are the Hakawi. He was saying, where the heck are we? Oh. And they misunderstood. So he just continued on through the whole series. That funny. That show was funny. Here was another $1 plush. I know you guys can't see it, but this is Twinkin' from the Barney series. I have found it a couple of times, but it has been years I'm hoping like $15 to $20 for it. It is going to need a bath. I still, I, I need to go get me a warmer from Walmart or something and try that thing because this is, again, another one of those tags that definitely will fade when I wash it. Of course, here's another lovey. This one was a dollar. It is, let me see, Modern Moments. Oh, I think I've had something from that recently. Just very cute. Gonna need a bath. I'm hoping maybe $12 to $15 for it. And then I had this. I haven't even opened it. It was $2, but it had these puppets. And I got it for the two that I saw on top. Look how interesting. Oh, look. Sad faces. Happy faces. They're in really good condition. I'm surprised. Very nice. Let's see if we can find a brand. Oh, right here. Pockaluck. Pockaluck puppets. I don't know. I'm hoping 20, 25 plus for the two of them. I really like that side. And then there was a few finger puppets down in here. I'm pretty sure this is like Melissa and Melissa and Doug. If I have any other just kind of plain hand puppets like this, I may go ahead and add it to that lot. And then let's see. There's like six little finger puppets here. Let's see if any of them have a tag. I'm not seeing a tag. Almost makes me think maybe they went to like a book. It's just they all are the same shape. So six little puppets. I'll probably like $7.95 or $9.95 for them. I'll Google Lens, you know, like this one and see if it pulls up anything. And then... I grabbed this bag. It was $3, but I bought it for the one thing that I saw in here. Ah, I didn't even pay attention to the rest of it. There may be other treasures. It's for this bottle. I've sold this in the past. I'm pretty sure it's Mattel. It glows in the dark. Yep. I can't read. 2000 something. I want to say it's going to be like 10 to $15 for this as a replacement. I remember when I looked it up, there was only like the blue ones listed. So, you know, depending if this is a little bit harder to find, you know, 15 or $20 for it. But I didn't even look at the rest of this. I don't know. I'll have to Google in stuff in here because I don't know any of this. Sometimes there might be a treasure down in here you're not even aware of. But I bought it for the ball. And look. These are nice. This is the glow worm. Now the, the, the 
really good glow worm to find is the one that's all green. A lot of times it has a shirt that's musical. There's like a little push button in it. Um, that's like the best one to find. But to me, these are like the second best ones. There is a pink and like a bluish green, but they're the thermal weave. This is dated 1995. I'm hoping the little thing inside. The good thing about these is um, this glow stick comes out and then I can go ahead and spray this down good and get it washed up. Um, but a lot of times you got to be careful with these glow sticks because it's got like a copper wiring in it. Obviously, this one ain't been out in a while. Well, I'm not getting it out. But when you take it apart, there's a little, like, copper tubing in here. Just be really careful that you don't lose it, don't bend it, because um, you need it to activate the battery. So, nice, nice, nice. I'm hoping, I don't know. There was a time I could get about 50 for them. But I'm going to be cautious and say hopefully $25 and up. Oh yeah, here it is. Bert got it out. So they, it does have batteries in it. That's not always a good sign. Hopefully not corroded. I don't see crusties. But I, I'm, I'm going to say 25 plus for it. And then I always walk through the small appliances there. I don't know if you'd walk through and just miss this. I did. This is the Black & Decker under the cabinet can opener. It does have its instructions, um, the little wall mount. Not sure. Hopefully it's got, I see the screws and everything. Like maybe somebody took the care to wrap it up. So hopefully it's in still in good working condition. Um, but if not, I can go ahead and sell all of these other parts. I paid $5 for it. I want to say it was like $25 plus. But to be honest, I may make more just selling all the, the, the parts that hook it up under the counter. So we'll see. Oh, and then my treasure from there. I was so excited when I saw this and I kept thinking, no, that's that, that's not what I think it is. Well, at first I thought maybe My Little Pony, but it's not My Little Pony, y'all. Because isn't that My Little Pony colors? I paid $10 for this. This is she -Ra. From Masters of the Universe. I, you know, it seems to have the working, whatever it is to make it, I guess, squirt water. I want to say I saw sold comps of about a hundred for this. It seems, you know, other than just being dusty dirty, there might be something missing right here. I even saw some people who had removed this and was selling it separate. A lot of this stuff. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping for like a hundred bucks for it. So I was thrilled to find this. Walked around until this time Robert got confronted to turn the camera off. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I still have stuff down here from the estate sale that we went to. Got some treasures from a wall, of course. So y'all, get to work. Bye.